So today we have three different arrows, a wooden one, which was standard until the 1940s, a hollow aluminium alloy one, which took over until the 1980s, and one made from carbon fibre wrapped around an aluminium tube core. All three arrows have the same value of what's called spine. It means that if a weight was suspended from the middle of the arrow, and the ends were supported, they would all bend the same amount. While this isn't the loading scenario that arrow sees when launching from the bow, it works very well for choosing arrows of different sizes and materials. In this case, they would all bend around 0.615 to 0.625 inches, based on the industry standard weight and span, and that's a good amount for me and this bow. The composite arrows leave the bow at 207 feet per second, while the aluminium arrow is at 185, and the wooden arrow is only at 157. Even though there's a huge difference in the material used and the weight, they all bend about the same amount when the string is deflected as it pushes the archer's fingers out the way and the pressure button is also pushed in the same amount. In free flight, the composite arrow bends back and forth 82 times per second, while the metal arrow is about 10 hertz slower and the wooden arrow another 10 hertz slower. However, during the approximately 17 milliseconds while the arrow is being pushed by the string, it bends more slowly. All three arrows were close to their maximum bend when they left the string, and then bend so that when the tail of the arrow is passing by the bow, it's bent away.